guys, Chanel again from TTHQ and in this video I'll step you through the Stripe checkout process. This video gives site admins a good idea of what process their customers will need to undertake if they choose to use Stripe to sell goods and services online. Stripe offers a basic way to collect money from customers, either one-off payments or subscription payments. Today we'll be looking at a one-off payment checkout. You'll notice that once I click on the payment button, a pop-up will appear asking for card details, etc. This pop-up is all hosted by Stripe, meaning that your customer's details are extremely secure and actually out of the hands of any website administrators. Once a transaction is completed, the customer is sent back to your site. If you are using a Stripe integration plugin, such as Stripe Payments, you can easily direct your customers to a thank you page or another URL of your choosing. So I'll basically go ahead now and complete the transaction. I'll only be conducting a test transaction to show you the process involved. The same process applies for a real transaction. The only difference is the money would actually be debited from your customer's credit card and paid to you. The following product I will demonstrate the test on was created using the Stripe Payments plugin, which you can find more about in the details below. As a customer, I've landed on the events.com website with the hopes to buy a movie ticket. So I'm checking out Movies Under the Stars. The image looks pretty great and I'd like to go and see this movie Under the Stars. So I've scrolled down further to answer a few questions before buying my ticket. If I'd like to be seated next to another guest, yes I would. Put that person's name in. Would I like to be sent a reminder? Yes, so I'll mark that checkbox. And now I can choose if I'd like any of these additional costs. So would I like some popcorn? Yes, I'll take the bucket. Pizza, I'll take a cheese pizza. Alcoholic beverages, I won't take any of them. And I can choose if I'd like to upgrade my seating. No, I'll just stay with the basic seating. It's here that I can enter in a coupon code, but I don't actually have one. So I'll go ahead and I'll click the purchase the ticket now button. This is just my simple Stripe payments button. So I've clicked on that and as you can see, the Stripe pop-up has appeared. So this is all hosted by Stripe from here on end until I'm redirected back to my thank you page. So I can see at the top there, I'll be buying one ticket and it's gonna cost me $30.45. So if I'm happy with that, I can go through and I can fill out the following details. So I need to enter my email, my name and my address as this is a physical ticket that will be sent to me. If the admin has decided that they'll be giving you a digital product, you won't actually need to enter in your address as they will fill this out in the back end of the site and will not have required it. So I'll go ahead now and I'll enter in those details. Perfect, so I've entered in those details and I can click the payment info button to move on to the next step of the checkout. It's here that I'll be asked my card number, the expiry of my card and the CVC. So I'll just be putting in my test details. You can see here it's in test mode, but in a real life example, they would also be asked for the following things. So I'm just entering my card, the expiry, anything in the future for this test, CVC, Mine will just be one, two, three. And I can choose for the site to remember me for a quicker checkout next time. But as I'm only ever gonna be buying this one ticket from this site, I'm just going to go ahead and pay the $30.45. So I'm reminded here exactly how much I'll be paying and I'm happy with this, so I'll click the pay button. It's here that Stripe will make sure that the funds are in my account. If they are, you'll have a successful payment. If not, it's here that you'll get a failed payment. Um, but for now, as it's a test, it's always gonna be approved. So now it's just thinking and I'll be directed to the thank you page that was set up with the Stripe Payments plugin. So thank you for your purchase. You receive your email details soon. They've also got this nice little um, login to see your transaction history on the thank you page. So that's just a Stripe Payments feature. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial on the run through of how a Stripe checkout works for your customers. As you can see, the um, checkout process with Stripe is very simple for your customers to follow. If they've got a credit card, they'll just be able to have that credit card with them. Um, look at the card number, the expiry and the CVC on the back and just quickly fill out those details. So it shouldn't really take them more than a couple of minutes to complete a Stripe checkout on your site if you've set everything up correctly. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial. 
please see our description section below if you're interested in finding out more about the Stripe Payments plugin to enable Stripe on your site to sell either physical or digital products or services.